Hello, hope everyone's doing well. Um, before I start this video, I want to talk about a previous video I did because I made a big mistake on one of mine. I want to warn you. Not worth making a whole video about. I don't know how to point things. I'm going to try and put something here, maybe, maybe in the corner above me. I might not be able to do that, so I might look like an idiot pointing up, but I'm going to intend to put something there, linking you to my video about soundboard. The soundboard's fantastic, but I derailed my session last week. Um, within the module, in the settings for it, there's a folder that it recommends where are all your sound files going to be. Now, in my haste, I open that folder and saw, oh, okay, it recommends here, folders, sounds. So I started building my sound library in there. Didn't really think, given my day-to-day -day job is IT, I should have thought of this. Um, the, mod, the folder was inside the module mm -hmm. folder. So I spent about 10 hours downloading, clipping, finding audio, moving it all in there. Well, I updated the module and it wiped it all out because it was in the module folder. I found out mid-session in combat, I said some bad words. Um, I would recommend making sure that you go and change that directory to have your sound folder for soundboard not be inside the soundboard module folder. Just put it in like your Foundry VTT sounds folder. Very, very strongly recommend you do that as soon as possible if you use soundboard. Still a brilliant module, one of the best modules I've ever used, but by God, that, um, that hit me with a steel chair when I found that out. So yeah, I'll hopefully put something up there, link into that video. Today's video, I want to show you a pretty small module, but I really enjoy it. It's called Tidy Sheets for 5e. It's an alternate um, character sheet. It's got a few tools in that I really like. So it's a bit, it's tidier, obviously. You still have, in fact, a, bit, a different character is a better one to show you. I'm sure you've just noticed a few features of it, but I'll show you him instead. So on your homepage, you lose the favorited abilities. So it depends how much you've been using them. Um, so I know so I showed you before how you can have your frequently used abilities set there. The good thing about character sheet modules is you can download as many as you want that your players like. You All your players don't have to use the same character sheet. You can go into setting, uh, sheet settings and you can choose between this sheet and default sheet. So if all of your players have a different preference, let them have what they want. Um, this kind of shrinks everything together, makes it a bit neater. Um, I like that it categorizes the, um, the different items a bit better. I like currency being a bit more prominent down at the bottom and the convert tool being optional, not forced by another module. Um, I like how, I really like this actually, by default, you're not able to delete anything up the character sheet. I've done that so many times. I've gone to click edit. I just misclicked and I deleted so the delete button is locked by default. You'll see when I click delete enabled, it all turns back on. So you have to basically con go out your way to confirm you want to delete things. These add custom categories are not to do with this sheet. That's a different module. I'm going to show you in my next video, which I'll record straight after this, um, what that's used for. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a nice, it's a nice little module. It's tidy, brings it all together. Um, if you have defined subclasses, like if I go into another character, Halvor doesn't have his subclasses in, but Bartandalus does. So you can see he has S for subclass. And if you mouse over it, it says what archetypes or abilities are his multi-classes. So I really like that. Halvor's just never gone and done it in his character sheet. Most obvious things in here you've probably noticed already. Um, option, flyer options take a short or a long rest. You can put a uh, inspiration in here. It fills up with blood as they take wounds, which is always pretty cool. And you can very quickly 
set the exhaustion level, and as you'll see, it reminds you what your current level of exhaustion is doing to you for each one you click through. So that's a really good reminder. And I mean, exhaustion is one of those things where I'm quick to give it out as a DM, but every single time a player gets it, I'm quickly tabbing out and Googling 5e, you know, exhaustion conditions, reminding myself. I don't want to do six because six is death and I don't know if it'll just kill his, char his character sheet outright. Um, you've got some player settings in here as well. If I were to go into configure module settings and go to tidy 5e sheet, you can put it into dark mode. You can define the color accents. Players can do this themselves. Um, you can expand the views. You can choose to toggle whether you want rounded or squared portraits. That's obviously just a, a preference thing. And there's, you know, if you, if you don't use inspiration, I'm really bad for giving out inspiration. Whenever it's mentioned in my campaign, me and my players just laugh because I, I always forget to do it. Um, so you may decide that you, you're not going to have inspiration. Maybe you're not going to have exhaustion. You can go and tick and disable those options. So there's a lot of very small features in here. Um, for a very straightforward, simple to use module. I really like it, I recommend it. Give it a try. I'm gonna talk about effects in my next video, which I'm gonna film straight away. So I'll say stick around. I might not release it on the same day. Apparently that's something to do with YouTube algorithm. But yeah, thank you very much. As ever, check the videos out. Please drop me a comment. Let me know if there's anything you want me to cover. Um, I air my own on Twitch, my Curse of Strahd campaign every Tuesday at half 7 p.m. GMT. Uh, my Curse of Strahd session is, I think, 103 sessions so far. Living the dream on weekly sessions for the last two years. So yeah, feel free to swing by. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.